Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to shape the bowl of the spoon after it's been cut out. After you've hollowed out the, the bowl, we're going to shape the back of the spoon using a spoke shave to do that. Now, since the spoon is more or less a oval or, or circle shape, we need to go in a certain direction when we use the uh, spoke shape to cut the uh, material away, you have to go in the right direction because of the grain of the wood. The grain of the wood, generally speaking, is going up and down like this. And so when we uh, cut the top half of the spoon, which is here, this right here is the middle, we need to cut in that direction. This is the top half. When we cut the bottom half of the spoon, we need to cut in that direction. Okay? And it's going to look like this when you actually start using the spoke shape. You put the, the, the spoon in the vise. So, to cut in the correct direction for the top, we're going to there's the blade of the spoke shave. You're going to go up to the top and stop. It's cutting in this direction. You cut the bottom half. I'm going to turn it away from me, turn the blade away, and I'm going to cut in the down direction. Now, as I cut, I want to keep moving this from side to side. I'm always working between two edges. When I first started, there's just one edge here, right here. And when I make one cut, the first cut I make, it's very small, but I have two edges. There's an edge here and an edge here. And I'm going to start working in between those edges, rounding the spoon. I don't want to keep going in the same spot. If I keep going in the same spot, I'm going to have another flat spot. We want to kind of round it over. So I'll work up here. Now I've got two edges. I'm going to come over a little bit. Take over this way. And I like to work. A little, I've worked there a little bit. I'm going to work over here. I like to keep working my way around. I don't want to work for here for 10 or 15 minutes and then work here. And try and, you want to just kind of evenly work the spoon into the, the bowl shape with the spoke shape. Now, one thing, what, so the whole idea is you're eventually going to bring this edge, this bottom edge, down to the edge of the front of the spoon. And you're going to bring this edge, the edge that's in the back, you're going to bring these two edges to meet back here, and the spoon will be curved. So. Since you're, since you're always working in between the two edges, and you can see here's my two edges. They're getting a little further apart now, and that's rounded in there. You just want to keep working away. You've got a lot more to do in the middle of the spoon than on the ends of the spoon. And one thing, it, a couple things you never want to do. You never want to work right here like this. You don't want to do that, or you don't want to work on this edge. We want to end at this edge. I'll show you. We want to end at that edge, so we're never going to ever cut like this on it. We're going to always cut in the back and end on that edge. And that's how you use the spoke shape to, to shape the bowl of the spoon. Uh, generally, I like to stand up when I do this. So I've been sitting down, but I'll stand up. And that way I can see a little better where I'm doing. Another thing to know if you go in the right direction, if I'm cutting the wrong direction, so for instance, if I go like that, this one's not too bad, but if I go over here and cut up, and I should be cutting down, you'll get, I'm cutting this way, yeah, there it is, you get, you can hear it, you can feel it, you get a really rough cut it's called chatter, so if you get that, you see those chatter marks, you need to turn and go the other way. You can tell by the sound. That's a 
nice that's a nice finish there and just keep working that and it might take you uh take you a little while to do that take your class or so but take your time be careful and uh it's kind of kind of a fun tool to use it's, the sound is satisfying and you make some progress basically you're sculpting your handmade leaf. 